So, well, then later on, here comes the the town brand now. And every time that a sub would come in from anywhere, I said, have y'all seen the sand lamps anywhere? Have you seen the sand lamps? Finally, a sub come in there and said, yeah, we saw them. He says, it's in Australia. Says, they went and made a very successful patrol run, some 40-something thousand tons of shipping and a cruiser on top of that. And says they, they sent them into to Fremantle, Australia for, to refit. And then I didn't see the sand lamps no more until we come back to the States. We come back to the States. Well, see, I had stopped, I'd had put the sand lamps in commission, and on the first patrol run, got far as Midway, and they transferred me off. Well, they, the sand lamps got the presidential unit citation, and here come the executive officer. They found out I was there. The executive officer says, says you got the, you, you got a, letter here of a presidential unit citation. I said, what for? He says, you started on patrol run with the sand lance and says, you there's a letter come in with your name on it that you got and I have hunted that thing at the house <coughs> and I can't find it no more. But I I've had it when we was at Little Rock I had the the thing saying that I had got the presidential unit citation. Daddy, they may want to talk about something. Well, we asked him to talk about it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, that's what you want to hear. She gets to hard of me talking about it. She, she says it ain't good for me to talk about it no more. I don't know. It ain't that keeps you stirred up. <laughs> you don't like farm I get, I, get a, I get a little magazine once a month, uh, well, ten times a year, that that they call it the uh, post on to get <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it has all the latest news and it'll have little short articles about that long just a little spot there and it'll tell about what some of the submarines have done and something during the war and I can get the big a lot of them already knew about them before I ever read it no, but it brought things back to my mind that they've done what they've what they done the Polaris is the name of the little magazine that comes out. That was the first nuclear sub, I, I don't I, I, It's got something to do with the nuclear <coughs> sub. I think it was your first nuclear sub was the Polaris. Yeah. And I might be wrong about that. But I'll tell you what, if we could have had one sub like that, that we went aboard down there and passed the door, if we'd have had one sub like that during the war, the Japs wouldn't have stood a change. Because that thing as fast as that thing could run submerged, you'd be on them before they knew it and done shot them with a Tomahawk missile and, and be gone before they'd know where you come from. Well, if they'd have had one of them nuclear subs that went over there, there wouldn't have been nothing in Japan left, and that would have been it. They wouldn't have worried about the baby, they'd destroyed the port. Yeah. Well, she got it and stayed gone, I guess, the whole time. Well, you know, <coughs> well, according to this Polaris magazine, well, they had some things in there that, did, that they had since the war was over, they found, and they, and, and the Japs were not dreading the United States because they sunk so much of our stuff at Pearl Harbor right to start with. Says they ain't got nothing left but a bunch of old diesel subs and says, says we don't pay no mind to them. But brother, I want you to know we got their attention before the war is over. The submarine Navy made up 2% of the U.S. Navy and we sunk over 50% of the ships that were sunk of the Japs during the war. More, more than the Air Force and the regular Navy and everybody else sunk. This plucky that was, that was a captain of the bar, when he sold his book, what he sold it for, he invited all of his old crew to come to New Orleans and they got on the Delta Queen 
and he paid for a, I was selling this book. He paid for several days for them to run up and down the Mississippi River on that Delta Queen. He just reserved that whole thing for his crew there. He probably got enough material for another book. Could have. Well, he was just showing his crew. Now, I mean, he he respected his crew, but he had he had some guys with him that knew their stuff, and they would have stuck their head in the bar if it for him if he'd have said, because uh, he he just saw after him that uh, there wasn't nobody gonna take advantage of him or nothing, and he was gonna see after him when they got home. They thought he could do just anything there and get away with it. one part of the book where he said they would have had just a little more experience instead of diving from them jet planes when if they come over to try to depth charge <coughs> and that long about there. He says, says, well, he says, we had guys on the 40 millimeter guns that would have dealt a plane. Miss, he says, brother, they is good with that thing. <laughs> and, and said, you know, it was the one where there's two guns that were, and 40 millimeters, if you've ever seen them on anything. Yeah. 